No, no, I don't mind if you show Riva Bend as a rental, but I'm not interested in selling. It doesn't really matter as long as they're nice people. I mean, I want whoever lives there to be happy. Great. Thanks. You sure about this? What? Renting Riva Bend. Well, I guess in my heart I was hoping Dylan could move in there, but after this morning I can see it's going to be a long time before he accepts anything from me. I'm just a little surprised, that's all. Usually if you set your mind to something, it takes a lot more than one no for you to give up on it. That's why I'm renting it. Because someday, someday, I will be able to take care of him the way I want to. Yeah. Look, um, I'm sorry that I blew up at him earlier. I know you're trying to, you know, deal with him right now, and, and maybe I should just stay out of it. You know what? I didn't hate it at all that you took my side. But, I mean, he has his reasons. I mean, it's not like he was trying to hurt me. His father? I don't want to get into that. Well, it's part of the problem, though. Isn't Maybe it? it is part, but I think the other part is that I'm trying to make up for 18 years in a week or two. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a little difficult, I would think. And then losing Molly, having to deal with that Mark Cody. I mean, he's had to go through his whole life worrying about day to day. He's never had to cope with, with someone who's there to want to help him, to worry about him, worry about his future, think about it. I guess not. I mean, I think about his future all the time. I mean, w what's he going to do? What does he have to look forward to? And I think that's the most important thing that I have to offer him right now. The fact that he doesn't have to go through life on his own. That there are doors that are open for him. So what are you getting at? Oh, I'm not really getting at anything. Come on, darling. When you act like this, it's because you want, to, you want something. So what is it? Just tell me. You want me to give him a job at Lewis Oil? Is that it? I can do that, you know. I mean, he's not going to be vice president or anything, but if you well, give me the word, then I'll, I'll, that's, I'll take that's care of it. That's not exactly what I want. So what is it? I, I thought he might... You might give him some stock in, in Lewis Oil, like really? any other member of the family. Sounds like a hell of an idea to me. Well, yeah, I think it sounds like a hell of an idea. There's only one problem, though. What's that? Since when did Dylan become a Lewis? Look, uh, I don't mean to be insensitive here, but we are talking about Lewis Oil, are we not? You're right. And I love the Shanes. There's no question about that. But Roxy doesn't have any stock in the company. Neither does. No, Roxy. you're 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 right. I'm sorry I brought I mean, it I, up. I mean, I can do something if you want me to. No, really. Let's let's just change the subject. Drop it. <laughs> I mean, I I I, I never should have brought it up. It was a dumb idea. I mean, I, just this morning, I was trying to tell the kid that I was pushing too much, and then I tried to stick my name on him. What? Nothing, nothing. I just keep doing everything wrong. Just don't let yourself get upset, okay? I'm sorry, but we're not serving dinner yet. Oh, well, that's all right. We'll just sit down if we may. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, I think I'll go over and see what the chamber is doing. I'm sorry I butted in. No, he didn't butt in at all. Uh, uh, Billy, uh, take care. You know, I wonder if Dylan has any idea how much he has Billy in his corner. I, I have never seen him that willing to give up a piece of Lewis oil before. Sorry, buddy. And that's what I'm really worried about. I don't know how I ever would have gotten through all this without you. Hey, it's my job. I mean, I listen to myself talk. I talk. I talk to you. Is that right? You're going through a lot right now. Yeah, well, so is Dylan. I mean, I just wish he'd... He'd talk to me. I mean, that's all. Just talk. Can I say something? Yeah. Look, I know you're having a real tough time dealing with Dylan, and uh, it's very important to you. I haven't been such a good wife, have I? <laughs> that's not what I was going to say. I just wanted to remind you that we're about to have a baby, and that we're supposed to be very happy about that. And there's a part of our lives that is really terrific right now. More than a part. I know, and I can't wait. I mean, I want to put my arms around him, you know. And... <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Apparently he does, too. <laughs> <Hello there. laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but there is a dress code. Uh, excuse me, Liz. You want to... Uh... 
See if you can find a boy coat. Sure, Mr. Lewis. Thank you. Look, if you're hungry, I can get them open up the kitchen early. They got great roast beef. <laughs> no, man, uh, I just came to talk to Rio. Well, son, I think you made her day. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Let's go. Let's go. Dylan. Hi. Is something wrong? Hi. I'm sorry to barge in like this. No. That's... Uh, you want to sit for a while? Uh, yeah. I just wanted to talk to you. I'll tell you what. Uh, let me go call Sarah and uh, check on Mara. I'll do it in the other room. <laughs> Are you hungry? No. I, I just I want to talk to you about something. Sure. Uh, Alan Michael. It was him who took Daisy. What? Yeah, but listen. Hey, I don't have anything good to say about this guy, and I don't know what it's like to be bailed out by some rich aunt. Alexandra. Yeah, well, her highness figured out some kind of cover-up for him. But the thing is, he went down to the cops to turn himself in, and they wouldn't do anything. So tonight, he's he's going over to the maze to, you know, apologize. He is. Yeah. Now, I can't stand this guy, but... What? Well, you know what you said at the parole hearing. It was really nice. But I can't always blame other people. And Alan Michael, man, he's... He's taking everything right on the chin. Yeah, well, so are you, Dylan. And you didn't do anything. Well, we both know I did. I don't know if... I have the guts to face those people. The LeMays. Part of me thinks I should. I don't know. I think that's dumb. I think that you don't have to put yourself through this. I mean, maybe they don't want to even talk about it. Well, he said they did. Or she does. I don't know. Maybe it was dumb to come here. I just No, thought... listen, listen. If you if you do go through with this and you go over there, and and it and it's rough, you can come and talk to me about it, okay? I think I'm going. I think you are too. Well, thanks for listening. Yeah, well, hey, like they say, anytime. <laughs> uh, Dylan, ah, uh, I think I like you in leather better. <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. He he talked. <laughs> I made a crack. He laughed. That's good. I mean, he talked. He talked about uh, about wanting to do the, the right thing. I and mean, he's a good kid. He is. He's he's a good kid. 